James Posey up front, along with Eddie Griffin, and Yao Ming, Petito Mobley, Steve Francis in the backcourt. Wizards with Jerry Stackhouse, Tristan Leitner, and Brendan Haywood on the front line. Michael Jordan and Teron Liu are at the guards. The officials are Ron Garrison, Louis Grillo, and Kevin Finn. Yao Ming being played here by Brendan Haywood. Yao with a little scoop shot. He pulled out a body d -box up and scoop it underneath shot off the backboard. Stackhouse for three. Jerry Stackhouse has been struggling recently. Has not been the same since he suffered that pulled groin injury. Michael Jordan now being played by Bikino Mobley. Here's Jordan. Yes. But Michael able to spin and go to the fadeaway despite that beat by Drew. Posey left wide open. And Leitner with another rebound. And Posey gets picked off and Jordan hits again. Well, you mentioned Eddie Griffin a second ago when he hit the jump shot. You'll see his ball come out of the hand. It comes out with a rotation that's a little bit awkward. It looks like he's shooting it from the side. It's a flat shot. He's shooting only 39% from the floor, 34 from the three-point line. But he's a strange shooter because he'll make five in a row all of a sudden during the course of the game. And Yao Ming with the follow-up. Well, what I love about Yao is that he combines both humility and passion for the game. And those are two traits you don't see in combination very much in our league today. How about Michael Short? Three for four. From the field, Chris Collins, an assistant coach at Duke University. Here is George with the fade. You know, Mark, this is an interesting story. If you remember back two years ago, it was April 19th that Doug Collins was named head coach of the Wizards. You and I were out doing a playoff game, and we went to dinner with Doug. And we had dinner at the end. We even offered to pay for the checkers. Yeah, and then he turns around and hits the... 16 footer. Thanks a lot, EJ. Well, earlier today, Yao Ming took a little time out of his busy, uh, busy schedule to do some sightseeing. And what did he visit? The Lincoln Memorial. A lot of demands on this young man. Just taking sight after sight at Abraham Lincoln. Just hanging out. And more, Mike and Jeff, quick question. If you're Rudy T, there are so many demands on this young man off the court. When do you start tapering it back so he's not exhausted from these next 26 games? He's such a great kid that sometimes I think he's trying to do too much for too many people. He's got to think of himself and his team first. Michael Jordan back on the floor, and he has had the touch. Five of six with release by Jordan. Well, this is a guy who was a major question mark for tonight because of that deep five bruise, and he is on fire. Jordan, and he's fouled by Hawkins. But the problem is, is that Jordan, with his bad legs, doesn't have to guard Posey. He's sagging back as you see Stockhouse knocking in. With Jordan, I think you have to have make him match up against an offensive player. That's also the effects of age. He's just not a driver anymore. He's a jump shooter. Guys think too much back to his 20s when he was dunking on people. He is a jump shooting post-up player. As we see right there, off the spin on the subject of Michael's age last Friday here in Washington. He put up 43 points, becoming the only player 40 years of age or older to score 40 or more points in an NBA game. Now here's Jordan. He's hit from behind. He took a pretty good shot from Mobley. Ron Lou being played by Steve Francis. Michael Jordan guarded by James Posey. They clear it out for Jordan now. Help as Griffin comes on. Leitner has had the touch. Christian Leitner with eight points. And playing with the lead is very, very difficult. They have the big 20-point lead. Can they come out and sustain their emotion and their passion, or are they going to allow Houston to get right back in the game as Jordan knocks down another chair? Yao with the step. Well, that time they had the mismatch, and the Rockets were able to take advantage. One of the few times that they had run that high pick and roll, rolled Yao towards the rim, and found them at the other end of it. Don't say this about Glenn Rice. Haven't had him one year in New York. He was much underrated defensively. He used his length well, his space, he knew the players, the personnel. He's not as bad as people made him out to be defensively. Beautiful move. By Al, who's hearing it from the crowd, as he did in New York this past 
Tuesday night. Hayward with another block. Here comes Jordan. Yes, and the foul. Maurice Taylor got it from the angle. Michael Jordan with a three-point play opportunity. What they're learning here as Michael Jordan hits another jump shot. What they're learning here is the physical nature of the playoff. you got to step up and toughen up if you want to be a playoff contender. What Cleveland has basically done is they've given a guy who's on the last year of his contract a chance to help some team. They don't want to play him in Cleveland. They want to go with all the young guys and see what happens here in the end of the year. They give Tyro a chance to go out and try to impress someone so that maybe he can get a contract at the end of the season. And he's a guy who can defend the low post area, rebound the basketball, play team defense. I mean, there's some teams that can really use it. I think the Lakers I like Philly to pick him back up where he was so effective. And Mark, right now it looks like Teron Lou has a cut above his left eye, a bruised shoulder. He's being x-rayed right now. He will not return. It'll be interesting to see how big of a factor that is since in this whole game he's done an excellent job on Steve Francis, guys. All right, Carol Yao Ming with a couple of opportunities. Fouled by Brendan Haywood. Got clock to five. Yao with the fake. Yao rejected. Yao on the follow. And it's a 24 second, or is it a foul? Let's see. No, it's a foul before the shot clock ran out. And Yao Ming will head to the line. That's a good reason to take him out when he gets his six foot. One point game. And I'm surprised Glenn Rice is not in the game right now. Here's Mobley looking to tie. He does! Mobley breaks down. Cow! Wizards and the Rockets. Tied at 88. Dixon played by Francis. Now to 10 seconds. Now Jordan. Now to 5. Jordan forced out by Taylor. Goes to his left. Jordan with the jumper. And we're headed to overtime. And they're going with Juan Dixon at the point. Here's Jordan backing Mobley. Jordan challenged. Yeah, it counts in the ball. He protected the ball as he went up against the seven foot five inch Yao Ming. And Yao called for his first foul. I think Michael got in this situation and said, well, there's the big man. I got to do something, try and draw a contact and just hope to get it up there on the rim. Hawkins, he's had the touch. Constantly hear coaches talk about turnovers killing you in the game. Well, this is what it's done tonight for the Wizards as Yao turns and shoots it over the much smaller label. 19 turnovers for the Wizards, only eight turnovers for the Rockets. That's the first time Houston has led since the early minutes. Good job by Hawkins on Jordan, who still is able to hit the fadeaway. 29 for Michael Jordan. George comes off the screen. Hawkins able to recover. Now Jordan taking advantage of the opening. This is a very difficult shot for Michael because he is out away from the basket, turning towards the baseline, makes it with some distance on that particular shot. And then you see Yao gets caught, getting ready to show on the screen. Taylor can get there in time for the dunk by Michael. Whitney put the ball up by two, just under two to go in OT. Here's George. Hawkins hit the deck. Rudy Tomjanovic felt that he was pushed and uh, tried to recover, was not able to get up on Jordan. Jordan facing the double. Oh, somehow was able to swing away. It will count as a goal on Yao Ming. Got clock down to seven. Five second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Yao on the rebound. Francis checking the clock. Changed his mind. He wanted to shoot a three. Mobley fires. And it's all over. Wow. What a finish. Steve Francis went up looking to shoot a three. It looked like he came down.